Hi, you already know how to do addition when somebody else writes a problem for you. I want to show you a way to do addition with the stamp game that will let you write your own problems. It's called dynamic addition. I'll start with the problem that I'll write for both of us. I have my stamps here and my paper with one, two, three, four squares across and my ruler and a pencil. So I will write down this problem for you. I have three thousands, two hundreds, six tens, that's sometimes called 60, and one unit. And then my second addend is 4,605 tens or 50 and two units. I'm going to make my plus sign and my equals bar. Okay, so you can pause the video here and build 3,206 tens and one unit, and below that build 4,600 five tens and two units. I'm going to build it too and then we'll check our work together. Okay, I built my numbers, hopefully you did too. I'm going to verify my quantities. So in my first number I needed three thousands, one, two, three, yep. Two hundreds, one, two, yep. Six tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one unit. Check, all good with my first number. Let me verify my second number. So four thousands, one, two, three, four, yep. Six hundreds, one, two, three, four, five, six, yes. And five tens, one, two, three, four, five, two units. All right, will you do this with me? Let's push all of our different categories together. I'll start with the units. I love pushing them together. I'll push my tens together. Can you push your tens together? This is just like when we did static addition before. I'll push my hundreds together. Whoa, I need two fingers. <laughs> and I'll push my thousands together. So I've put my two add-ins together and now I can see what the sum is, what the total is. I always start with the units. I'll count them. Can you count your units too? How many do we have? That's right, three units. Now let's count our tens. Ready? One, whoops, those two stuck together. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop! Just like with the bank game, when we get to 10 of one category, we can exchange it for one of the next category. I'm going to move these 10 tens off and I can exchange 10 tens for 100. Can you do that too? I'll put the 100 here and I'll put these 10 tens back with my supply. Now I'll count my tens again. Oh, I have only one 10 now. Let me count my hundreds. Can you count with me? I have nine hundreds. Hopefully you do too. And now I will count my thousands. Did you get seven as well? Oh, good. So, three thousands, two hundreds, six tens, and one unit, plus four thousands, six hundreds, five tens, and two units equals seven thousands, nine hundreds, one ten, and three units. So now you can write your numbers, your add-ins, because you know what to do when you reach 10 in any category. When you reach 10 
in one category, you can exchange it for one of the next category. Let's clear our stamps and I'll leave you with one more problem to work on on your own. I'll draw the squiggly line to separate problems, right? And you can work on five thousands, seven hundreds, four tens, three units, plus, I'll make my plus sign, two thousands, five hundreds, two tens, and six units. I'm going to draw the equals bar. All right, I'll leave this here for a minute so you can look at it and write it on your paper. And then on your own, you can add five thousands, seven hundreds, four tens, and three units to two thousands, five hundreds, two tens, and six units. And after this, you can write your own problems. Have fun doing dynamic addition.